Hey, look at that. I can control Blackout from my phone. You may already be familiar with MIDI control in Blackout, but Blackout also supports OSC, which stands for Open Sound Control, and isn't limited to the 8 bits that MIDI is. Open Sound Control is awesome because a wide range of hardware and software supports it, and it allows for custom messages, so the possibilities are endless. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OSC with an app called Touch OSC. Touch OSC is free on your computer, so you can download it there and start playing around with it and follow along with the video. But everything we're going to learn about the connection setup translates to any OSC device or software you're going to use. You can even go crazy and start hooking up game controllers or building your own faders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check that Blackout and your OSC device are on the same network. I can come up here to link status in Blackout and I can see my network here. And then on my phone, I can see that I'm on the same network. I'm on Android, so if I click this little wheel, I can come down here to view more and see my IP address. This will be useful for later, so I'm going to keep this number memorized. Then back in Blackout, I'm going to connect device and go to the OSC tab. The first thing I'm going to do is click on OSC documentation. If you're connected to the internet, you'll be taken to the Blackout webpage where you can see all of the messages in Blackout. I'm going to scroll down to the fader commands, and we'll start by controlling the global fader level of fader 1. So this is the message that I'll need to put in touch OSC. And I can see here in the arguments, it's going to be an integer from 0 to 255. So let's see what all of that means. I'm going to open Touch OSC on my phone, and then I'm going to press and hold in the middle and add a fader. I'll make it a bit bigger here by just dragging it around. With my fader selected, I'll hit this bar graph icon and make sure that in the document tree here, my fader is still selected, and I'll scroll down to where I can see the messages. For now, I'll delete the MIDI message out by clicking the X, and then I'll tap on OSC. Now in this section where it says address, this is where I'm going to put the OSC path from the blackout documents. I'm going to start by press and holding name here and deleting it by clicking OK, then I'm going to touch the slash. In the slash, I'll write exactly what was in the blackout page. So I'll do slash blk slash fader slash global slash, now here's where I put the number, I'll do fader1, slash, level. And then I'll click enter. Then in arguments, you'll see here it says float. I'm going to change the conversion to integer, and I'll send it from 0 to 255, because again, that's what the documentation tells us to do. After hitting enter, I'm going to come up to link and go into OSC. Now, I already have some things configured, but I'm going to double check that it's exactly what Blackout's expecting. In the host, I'm going to put the IP address of my iPad. Once again, looking at the Blackout page, I can see my IP address, 192.168.0.2. And then this part's a bit of a brain teaser. So up at the top here, where it says Blackout receive address and port, we see that the port is 9003. So that's what I want my send port to be in touch OSC. And I'll make sure that's 9003. Then down in blackout, this is where it's going to be sending any fader feedback to my touch OSC device. So I'm going to change this to the IP address of my phone, which was 192.168.0.19. And then I'll want the port to match touch OSC's receive port at 9006. So we'll make sure that's configured in both. And then I'll click Done. Now back in Touch OSC, I'll hit these bar graphs. I'll close out of link status and blackout. And now I'll hit this play button. As I move the fader on my phone, you can see it moves in blackout. And if I move the fader in blackout, you can see Touch OSC follows. Now let's add a button. Give myself some more room on the canvas here, and I'll press and hold in the middle of the canvas and add a button. This is going to be the same process. I'll hit the bar graph, I'll scroll down, delete MIDI, and come into my button messages, 
and come into the OSC messages. I'll delete name by press and holding. I'll come to the slash. And now I'll navigate back to the OSC documentation. And let's add one of the action buttons. So we'll do slash blk slash fader slash global slash one slash key underscore one. And I'll hit enter. I'll hit the X to check the arguments, and here we can see it already matches. It's expecting a float of zero or one. I'll hit the bar graphs to get out of this menu, and then I'll hit play again. I'll navigate back to blackout, and since we're already linked up, I can see as I hit the button, the toggle works. And as I move the fader, the fader works. So that was a super brief overview of how to set up OSC using Touch OSC, but the process is the exact same for any OSC device. You match IP addresses and ports, and you give it the arguments Blackout is expecting. Take a look at the full OSC documentation on our website. You can map OSC to any control in Blackout. It's awesome. You're going to love it. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, and I'll see you next time.